Okay, welcome back. Well, Emotip has done it again. He's come up with a really, really neat, uh, simple um, charging device using a 12-volt relay that you can buy at Radio Shack. This is the circuit right there. And uh, it's very, very simple. I'm not going to go into it. Go over to his website and check it out. It's very easy to build. A couple hours, you can get it built. And it charges uh, with very little amp draw. It uses a a backwards way of charging coming off the uh, high voltage back EMF of a collapsing coil in the relay and shoots electricity into a charge battery and the nice thing is it only draws about 30 milliamps and yet it will charge up a battery or, or multiple batteries but anyway today uh, I got in there and I modified the relay and got it to draw even less amperage and there's my little setup right there and I did another thing too. I added an adjustment screw to the relay to be able to use the other contact because as the contact goes back and forth, back and forth, uh, we were only using one contact on his circuit. And I modified it with uh, this adjustment screw so that I can use it as a switch. And by able to use it as a switch as well as this uh, vibrator, I was able to make it run that light. That's the modified CFL and I'm just using the coil out of that little uh, mini box that I've already built but just the coil and the light I'm not using the circuit at all and I'm using the switch in that relay as that thing goes back and forth and back and forth it's uh, energizing and collapsing the coil but I'm also making it do this circuit at the same time and drive that light and that's pretty darn neat what he's done the downside is it's extremely noisy it's a very very loud buzzer and you'd have to insulate it with insulation but the the best thing about this is the amp draw is very 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 small and I've got this running off my small 2 watt solar panel out there that's a 2 watt on a good day it puts out 150 milliamps <laughs> it's really weak but it runs this relay and that is just amazing and like I say the, the charging that goes on here if you go to his website and look at his excellent uh, diagrams and description of how this works this puts out 400 volts on the back back spike uh, it's huge it'll shock you uh, when that coil collapses let me turn it on here this is a uh, this is just coming in from the, the solar panel down through the ground there. This has got no batteries, just a solar panel, not even a capacitor, just a solar panel. And you can hear how loud that is. That's the downside. But this is running now. That's the amp draw. And I've hooked that up with an analog meter too. And that is less than 20 milliamps. Like I said, I modified the relay so it would draw even less amperage and then added that adjustment screw. Now this is the charge battery. I'm using a very small charge battery. You could use obviously a bigger one, but for the demonstration to show this thing charging, I got the small charge battery. It's not hooked up right now. I'm going to hook it up. It uses a diode system, very similar to the Bedini circuit or the other um, Emotip light circuit. Now see the neon right there? It's glowing. When I connect this up, that's going to go out. See that go out? Now that's the high voltage that when I connect this up, instead of being dissipated through that neon bulb, now it's going into the charge battery. Let me hook it up. See, now I've got charging going on. Now what we're doing here is we're charging up a battery with the collapsing field of that relay coil. And I was very, very surprised how strong that little relay coil charging is. Now the next thing, like I say, is I found out if I put this adjustment screw in there and modified the contact so I could get it on the back swing of it, I could run the CFL. Let me hook this up. I'm going to connect it to the 87 terminal, by the way. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's this unused 87 terminal that makes the light go. And there's the light. There she goes. And I've got my little rheostat right here to adjust it with. Let me connect it and disconnect it. You can see the brightness on it. And 
And like I say, that's the relay interrupting the circuit with this 12-volt uh, battery. And then I've got the little 25-ohm uh, rheostat to adjust voltage with it. And you can dial this into about uh, anywhere from 100 milliamps up to about an amp and a half. And uh, at about 2,500 milliamps, you got about that much brightness on it. But uh, this is very, very crude the way I have this set up just to demonstrate the, uh, the circuitry. But this is a winner. This is another Emotip uh, winner. And you can see where the voltage has already gone on this little battery on that charging. This is an extremely effective charger. And I'm not sure exactly how he came up with this, but go to his website and build one of these. It takes a couple hours. Get this relay it's from Radio Shack and follow his instructions. And uh, you've got a major winner here. I'm very, very impressed with what he comes up with. Thanks.